So, dude, I think I wanted people to kind of know more about you. So I wanted to do five facts about Glenn. You want to know five facts about me? I want to know five facts about you. I have a few that I can <laughs> In fifth grade, I was a chess champion. They had a tournament at my school and I won. How many kids are in this tournament? Like the whole class? Bro, probably at least a thousand. <laughs> it, had to, it had to be a national tournament, for sure. All right, what's another one? Uh, I was actually in choir for five years. What grade? One through five. And initially, it was because I didn't want to uh, do PE. Wow, that's and now, surprising. And now I love sports, so it's so know. crazy. Okay. I think I was just afraid of dodgeball. I was afraid that I was going to get bullied. What? Look at me now. All right, what's another one? I was born on Friday the 13th, which people would think would make me unlucky. But surprisingly, I'm kind of lucky. Yeah, I won $500 on a scratcher one time. How much was a scratcher? Five bucks. That's pretty big deal. Yeah. Yep. All right, that's three facts. What's another fact, bro? I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was 15. Did you just not have a bike? Nope, and I taught myself. Did you just get on one? Yeah, it was Paco's little sister's bike. And I just got on there and just started pedaling and like, hey, I could balance. Yeah, another uh, fact? Yeah. I'm a yellow belt at karate. I think I only went to class twice. <laughs> like I showed up on the first day and then they're like, oh, come, there's a test. So I came, I was just like looking at everybody else, what they doing? They gave me the yellow belt. Oh my God. Yes, sir. And then did you stop after that? Yes. It's expensive. It is very expensive. Another fun fact about me is my name is Glenn because I was born in Glendale. No way! Shout out to my very creative parents. <laughs> no, was it? Yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> and my sister's name April. Anybody want to guess why? She's born in April. She was born in April. Uh, I did not know that. Oh. That's crazy. Bro, I'm craving some Chinese food though. Do you know any spots? That's crazy. I'm craving a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> We are here at Panda Express over in Roland Heights. And what's special about this Panda Express is that they serve burritos here. Burritos. Yeah, you heard that right. That's really weird, but they serve burritos here. So I really like Chinese food. It's my dad's favorite food. Uh, so we're going to go in, we're going to try some of their, you know, original stuff and see if we can put it in a burrito and see how the burrito tastes. Let's get it. All right guys, so we finally have our food from Panda Express. One of these locations, they started serving tea and burritos. AKA beans. But this is the Chinese bing. They just take the stuff that you usually get, your orange chicken, your chow mein, they throw it inside this wrap. I don't even know what the wrap is made out of. I think it's a rice wrap, and then they put whatever you want in there, and then they just try to wrap it up. Okay, so for my burrito, or for my bing, I got half and half uh, rice and chow mein, and then I got Beijing beef, which is usually my favorite, and I got walnut shrimp. A dollar twenty-five extra for the walnut shrimp. It's like the guacamole equivalent, but it's <laughs> like so good. What did you get, Glenn? Uh, I got my burrito. I went a little basic with just chow mein, uh, but then I also got these pecking pork. It's a new item available, and then I got my favorite chicken and mushroom and zucchini. <laughs> is that really your favorite panic? I, I like it because oh. I like mushrooms. That's true. Cheers. Oops. That's good. It's solid. Wow. That's actually really good. I have a very serious topic to talk about. The issue with Panda Express is that their utensils you can't really get a full bite. Filipinos have big utensils, so you can fit like meat, rice, everything on one spoon and eat it. At Panda Express, you can't. You gotta take a little rice and then throw the meat in your mouth really quick. Or put the meat and then throw some rice in your mouth really quick. This solves all those problems. You get a little bit of everything with every bite. I thought you were gonna talk about like slavery or like trafficking. You, you, you have to talk about something serious. It's serious to me. <laughs> when your utensils are too small, it's like terrible. You know you have those little, you know, plastic flimsy spoons. I know what you mean. Spoon is like that small. Yeah, and then you can't fit an orange chicken and rice on that. And the orange chicken is huge. This solves the problem. That's true. You just throw the, the orange chicken, comes in there with the noodles, with the rice, with some mushrooms. I think the greatest benefit of these burritos is that it makes Panda Express a to-go option. Very true. Like the usual Panda Express stuff you can't really eat when you're moving or in the car. Yep, unless you go Kamayan on that. Yeah, let's use your hands, but with this takes care of all the problems. Wow. This is smart. This is smart. Good job, Panda. I'm gonna try it with this sauce that they gave us. It's like a hot sauce. I don't know if it tastes good. Let's see. Damn, he ate some paper right there for sure. <laughs> for sure, ate some paper. The spicy? Okay, I'll try it on spicy. It's not too, too spicy. <coughs> Oh, wait, really? Did you put too much in one bite? <laughs> uh, I just took too big of a bite so the hot sauce went straight <laughs> to the back of my mouth. It's good though. I'm happy with our food decision though. Very cost effective too. Six bucks if you don't get extra stuff. Well, you have to upgrade. <laughs>
I know, but it's so good, good value. All right, so maybe it's a good time to segue into our drinks. This Panda Express has the Panda Tea Bar. Tea Bar? And they just started making teas there, which is really cool. I got hibiscus green tea. I got a Thai tea. Oh, baby. Mine's okay. Mine's solid, I like it. Is it? Yeah, you can try it. Try mine, oh, you yes. might be disappointed. But not. The thing about these is that they're not too sweet. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's a good thing though. It is. All right, let's go for the burrito again. I do think that I'd be full off half though. If you think about it, it's a lot of carbs. You have the, the wrap, the whole thing of carbs surrounding it. So yeah. you can't really ration your carbs. With this. Uh, unless you tell them light. Yeah, can you go light on the carbs? I like it. You should experiment with their different toppings. They have like wontons. They have fried shallots, which is like fried onion. They also have like cucumber. It's like little toppings you could add inside your burrito. You also put like mandarin sauce or the spicy sauce. We got it on the side though. Smart. All right, we're gonna go for the whole thing. One bite. The whole thing. Almost. <laughs> Close the lips. <laughs> good, good. I'm just saying what he would say if his mouth was full. All right, we're gonna finish eating our burritos and then we'll come back to you guys with a little ending review, tell you guys what we think about everything. All right, so we are really full, and I only ate half my burrito. Uh, I did too. So we finished eating, Matt finished eating. We're gonna go in on these fortune cookies. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the heck? I only got fortune, I'm pretty sure that's bad luck. Is it bad luck? I think so, I didn't... What the heck, dude? Mine says, uh, don't let others define your success. That's pretty good. Panda Express. So that was our trip to Panda Express. So overall, this Panda Express, awesome for having the Bings. I really wish all Panda Expresses could have it. Add the Bing to your menu if you are a Panda Express owner and yes. watching this yes. video. Add the teas. Add the teas. You'll, you'll make sales, for sure. Thank you guys again for just coming along with us. Uh, we hope you guys had fun. Put down in the comments below, what is your favorite thing to get at Panda Express? If you guys like our video, give us a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to keep following us and watching our videos. And if you guys already do subscribe, hit that big button, that bell button right next to the subscribe button. So you can get all of our notifications when we post a new video. And we'll see you guys next time.